Hello everyone and welcome to my channel again. Today I'm going to be unboxing some more uh, Star Wars old school toys. Uh, three episode ones, one episode three, and then uh, another one from episode two. So let's get into it. First we're going to open up uh, Oom 9. He looks probably a commander. I, I don't remember him too much. But I know he was another battle droid. I guess he's uh, in charge of the team. Alright, so we're going to open this guy up. Chip there. Just like my last video. Pretty good details over here. Not too different. Same uh, quality of details from like the last um, Battle Droid I opened. Only difference is he just got a paint job. Right here. Same thing. His weapon got very accurate detail. Right here. This is his uh, little binoculars. So I thought it was a piece for him. For an old toy around 1998. Um, Hasbro. Well, I think they were... Yeah, Hasbro. They were Kenner. I think Kenner is the one that made... um. The very, very old school uh, Star Wars based off the uh, original trilogy. But from here, they started getting better details. Like if you look at, let's say, for example, the lightsabers from the episode one on versus the uh, the Kenner the Kenner ones from the uh, early 90s based on the old trilogy, these guys started getting better. Of course, nothing, nothing compared to like the new, new Star Wars toys coming out now. Based on the same size. So here we go. Droidicas or the destroyer droids. I prefer to call them droidicas. Alright. Pretty awesome figure. Great paint job. Awesome detail. Right there, you see the red dots. The colors are in the right places. Put this here. I put this guy right here. The only thing I wish all the other Star Wars figures came up with this idea. Maybe it doesn't have to be like a chip because I know this is uh, basically to hear the... Uh, I think I explained this in my last video. I don't remember, but just in case for those who haven't seen it, this is uh, this is um, you put it like it looked like a little radio. You put the chip in there, you press a button, and then uh, the figures talk. Even though it's really the chip talk, because if I uh, let's say Qui Gon's line, if I put Darth Maul on it, he's still gonna hear Qui Gon's line. But they should have had something similar to it, where uh, you know for figure stands, because I noticed some figure uh, some companies now they give him figure stands. Which is a smart idea. You know, because the, the action figures, not all of them stand good by themselves. So they should come as soon as you buy it, especially with the price they're going for. You know, it's not going to hurt them to put a little extra plastic. But it makes collecting and displaying a lot more better. And the figures come with uh, their own stands. Especially finding stands is pretty hard. I've been collecting some NECA stands. Uh, I like to get the flat one. But again, it's hard to find. Now we're going to go with Qui-Gon Jinn. Last episode, well, the last one unboxing old Star Wars. It was Obi-Wan. Now we got uh, Qui-Gon. Not too bad. Not 100% Liam Neeson, but not too bad for the details. The color is right. I'm going to leave the lightsaber here, but bring it close. Well detailed. Like, I remember episode one when they sold the big uh, replicas of the uh, lightsaber. Put it this way. These are so detailed. Is it for, for, a small, for a small lightsaber for a little action figure? The details is pretty, very, very, very close. That it will look just as good as the big one. Which is, that's why I like the uh, toys coming from the episode one up. They, uh... 
they started putting a lot more details into it. There we go. Get this guy to stand here. All right, we're almost done. Now, uh, Revenge of the Sith, the Clone Troopers. Last uh, last video, we're doing the uh, small unboxing. I did the Episode Two Clone Troopers. Now this one's the Episode Three, which I like this one because you could tell in Episode Three they started uh, their helmets started to look a lot more closer to the uh, Stormtroopers we all know and love from the original trilogy. These are made way after the episode one, so they just got better and better with their details, as you can see. Their blasters, not so much details. Now, I never collected the replica of blasters, so I'm not sure if uh, if I had like a bigger replica, it would look exactly like this, or there would be more details into it. But the figure itself, as you can see, better details, correct coloring. I'm glad I bought this at the comic store. I know um, the last one, he looked at... Uh, the clone trooper from the episode 2 looked a little yellow there. But like I said, I bought that off a of flea market. This one, I got him off a comic store. So he was exposed to, uh, you know, crazy weather. Always been in room temperature. Awesome figure. I'm also going to look at the detail of the uh, other blaster. Now, he might fall over because, like I said, they didn't come with stands. They should have kept up with that idea. Well, I hope toy companies hear this. Give your figure some stands. <laughs> now, here we go. I'm not going to expect too much details from these blasters. Let me see if I get better focus more. Right there. But it's not bad for like I said. And you know. These were from I would say 2005, 6. I'm trying to remember when the uh, Revenge of the Sith came out. I think it was 6. 2000, between 6 and 7. Because. Oh, never mind. I I think I was still in high school, like in my last year, because I graduated in 07, so probably around that year. But, you know, these toy companies weren't putting as much details into their figures. It's funny, because they had better ideas for toys, but not the but not the great sculpting and details. Nowadays, it's the other way around. They got better sculpt, better detail for toys, but they didn't have too much ideas what to do. Now we're going to go for Count Dooku. This toy is a little more newer than the Episode 1's, obviously, but a little more older than the uh, uh, Stormtrooper guy right here because this one came around during the Episode 2. So I would say 2003 or 4. Yeah, around 2003, 2004, give or take. Because I was still in middle school when uh, Attack of the Clones came out. All right, got all his pieces. All right, first, right here, good details. Like I said, ever since episode uh, one, toys came out, they've been doing a very, very good job. The only thing I didn't like too much is that little fiery from the start. I think uh, episode one, if I, let me see, if I get his lightsaber. Because one thing that, that Ken, uh, Kenner did right, they just kept the lightsaber like that. The only thing Kenner did wrong, I'm, and I'm saying Kenner, I'm not 100% sure, but in their early 90s series, they didn't have the, uh, the well-detailed uh, handle. Like, it didn't look like the actual movie, uh, like like the movie counterpart. Over here, episode one with Hasbro, they did a good job. Right here. And see, they, they started doing better details, but they kept the way Kenner did it, just stick like this. Now, I'm going to show this other lightsaber. 
I didn't like too much uh, that little fiery thing that came out, and they started going w with that uh, from this series on, from the episode uh, two series on, because episode three toys also have are also guilty of that. Now I'm not sure what the new modern ones. I think some do and some don't. I haven't been collecting like more up to date Star Wars. I've been collecting a lot of old school small figures. The only Star Wars modern I collect are the uh, series black. The, the bigger figures because they way way more detailed this lightsaber I believe this is the one that Anakin was using and Kandu could cut it off now I don't know why they gave him that extra that in the last video with the Anakin toy made sense for him to have that just to go close it's a good detail now I'm not sure if this is um, just like the last uh, lightsaber I'm not too sure if uh, it's super accurate to the movie but those weren't like you know, main character lightsabers. They were just spare lightsabers when Anakin and uh, Obi-Wan was uh, captured. But I'm not going to pay attention to that. They got his main lightsaber, right? A uh, little Darth Sidious or Palpatine. And here, that's the little hologram. I like this little thing. This looks like something that could go on a car dashboard or you keep it on a, uh, uh, you know, your, your computer table. I like that little hologram figure. And of course... The Dark Lord himself, Count Dooku. The colors, right? The cape got good details. Let me see if it's focusing a little more. Right there. See the marking of the details? His clothes details are good. And if you go to his face, like I said, almost got the likeness of um, the actor, Christopher Lee. So uh, like, like, leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and uh, tell me you guys what you think. Do you guys still fans of uh, old Star Wars toys? Do you guys still collect them? Do you guys still have yours? Or uh, does this bring just bring nostalgic memories? All right, everyone? Uh, have a nice day and uh, take care.